But here's a scripted play that the Bucks like to run. This is the shot that they wanted. Speaking of three-point attempts, there yeah. was a look. Yeah, you got Drew on a curl going to the basket. Plus seven points per game more than he averaged last year. And last year he shot 40% from the three-point line. This year he's down under 33, but he, he's taking it to the basket. I think the Hornets will rue the day that they didn't extend him, give him, him an extension before the season started. Because he's a max guy now, without question. Exactly. Now everyone's on to him as Giannis gets a left-handed flush. Backdoor look. They forgot about Grayson, and he gets the two. You know, in, in the rest, out of his comfort zone as much as possible. Fade away the tip. A second opportunity is there for Bobby. Well, he, he lost his balance. Did a great in and out move with the left hand to, to beat the defender. He didn't look, kind of stumble, lost his balance on the finish. One of the league leaders in, in drives off the dribble. They went to the final game back to back, right? If I'm yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Under the, the head coach of Brad Stevens. Yeah. Made a name for himself. Turn around there for Middleton. You better check up. He gets hot. He can he can spring a 30 plus point game on you. You better check up. He gets hot. He can he can spring a 30 plus point game on you. Good start. And it hasn't always been the case in this first quarter here for the Hornets. Double digit advantage, largest lead is right here. Plus 13, here's Middleton. Way to stay with it, Giannis. Missed that little bit of a bunny inside, but great job with the second bounce. That was a statement possession there for Giannis against Bridges. We've seen that a couple of times in the first quarter for him. Middleton with the spin move, he goes reverse style. Bridges missing everything. Pump fake on dribble, gives it up to Pat Connor, 10 4 3. Middleton with another opportunity. Pump fake on dribble, gives it up to Pat Connor, 10 4 3. Middleton with another opportunity. Give the Hornets credit, man. I thought the Bucks, I thought they were about to take control of this game when they cut it to what seven ish or so at one point. As a 12 year old playing against 17 year olds. Pull up for Middleton. Did he have size? There's Cousins, the turn and face. He's going for it. Oh, time to get boogie. Lamelo tee it up. He's 39 percent or so coming into this game. 38 percent. There's an answer. That's his first three-point make of the game. And then accelerated in that small space that allowed him to get separation. This average is so impressive here this year. Middleton is a second three-point make. Going to get crossed over twice. Lamelo trying to do it though, yeah. and he tosses it away on the two-on-one back door. Oh, Grayson Allen. Gets that screen from Giannis. Rely so much on him as the engine to make this offense go. <laughs> Little Tim with an isolation opportunity. He'll take the long two. Edwards now in double figures here with Tim. Chris finding Bobby. for Chris Middleton tonight. Cannot allow anyone to get behind them. You got to protect the basket. <laughs> Holiday. Working it around. Chris Middleton for three. Jacksonville, Florida. Right. 15 in the league in terms of two-point finishes, about 54% of those. Middleton with that spin move baseline. Middleton with the kick out. The Bucks trailing by two. That was a long two-pointer by Chris. 
Tough miss there. Great, great relocation by Chris, and that thing rimmed out, almost down for him. Rozier for three. Try to put him up five. Think about a timeout in this situation, but Chris will take it for three. Team when you consider a... I was. I thought you were already given the bucket. <laughs> well, I just, we cleaned it up. 